Because they were going after the Radiator on this 96 Toyota 4Runner with a 3-4. First thing you want to do is take this off. It's a spring clamp like that. Take that off the pair of pliers. Then they do 12s here. Take those loose. I've already loosened these. Take that. So once you get your fan loose, you're going to go ahead and go after your two 410s. One there, one at the bottom. And one there, one there at the bottom. As you can see, you can leave your fan on and have some clearance, but in order to get the rest of the stuff off, you're going to have to come from the bottom and get your dust pan off. You get that last clamp, and these two clamps are automatic, and then after that, we'll have to come through the front grill here and get our bolt that's underneath this. Right in there, it's hard to see. You can cut, yeah, right there. So there's four. One in there, one at the bottom, one on the other side, and the bottom two. We need to take the shield off the bottom to get better access to our radiator hose and our training cooler lines. So, as you see, all my clamps are down. So now that we got everything loose down there, get those right. Our radiator just kind of slides in with our pins. back in our holes and tighten it down and put everything back the way it's supposed to be. So as you can see, I'm underneath here and I've already put my hose clamp on. You want to make sure it's quite a ways behind where it's beveled out. So right here is great. And then like same here. So my bevel's up here. My hose clamp is here. Not at the end, but a little ways back. And you always want to re put new clamps on here. You don't want to reuse those spring clamps. Spring clamps, once you detent them, they lose their tensile strength. So, which means their clamping force is no longer what it used to be. So you don't want to trust that with your uh, brand new radiator or your engine. Alright, clamps tight, just like down below, and you get this on here. So I'm going to fill this 50-50, so one concentrated gallon of green, one concentrated gallon of water. Um, usually, most people you can do Toyota Red, but this looks already had green in it, so it's going to get green. You uh, do the radiator on your 96 Toyota Tacoma and Toyota 4Runner. This was on a 4Runner. Uh, two things. You want to put coolant in it, start it, and let it run. Put the cap on before it gets hot, and then just let it run up to temp. Because you don't want to you know, run it and then have to put the cap on when it's hot. Because it's you could get hurt, so you don't want to do that. Um, so, you want to... Um, the radiator can be two different sizes. There's a pet cock that comes out like this for the um, reservoir overflow bottle and one that goes like this. That's how you know which radiator you have because that's how I found out. Um, also, the if you have the wrong radiator, it won't go into the hole, so vice versa. Um, so if you have any questions, give me a comment down below, give me a like, give me a subscribe. First time coming across one of my videos, this is what I do. I just fix things and try to show what I do. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.